Yeah, we heard from the chief medical officer of Central Maine Healthcare, John Alexander, twice today, one earlier this morning and one around four o'clock today. However, the most important part, the numbers are still the same. There are still eight victims in this hospital right behind me, five in stable condition and three in critical condition. Now, there are 14 met victims that were brought to Central Maine Medical Center last night and one other was taken to St. Mary's Hospital. Now, at one point, seven people were in the operating room at at the same time. Now, out of the 14, three died at CMMC, two were released, and one was taken to Maine Medical Center in Portland. The first patient arrived around 7.24 p.m. last night, and then in the next 45 minutes, the hospital saw the other 13 come in. Now, according to Dr. Alexander, they had a normal-sized staff last night, but as the victims came in, they had 50 staff members on standby ready to help. Now, this is a situation Dr. Alexander says they trained for, but they weren't expecting this many victims. It's unprecedented in, in so far as um, the severity of the injuries uh, and certainly the attack on the community. Um, our team uh, is prepared to deal with uh, mass casualty incidents as, as this one was. Now, the victims that are still in the hospital right now, they have been identified. However, no information about the names, the age, uh, the gender, or the nature of their injuries will be released just yet. However, we did hear that fam family members are allowed to visit. There is still a police presence right outside of CMMC right now, but that is apparently standard until the shelter-in-place order ends. We're live here in Lewiston, Maine. Troy Lynch, WMUR News 9.